What is up everybody? So today we are going to be talking about three foods that foreigners hate the most in Taiwan. And obviously the first one is uh, stinky tofu, which we have here. So we're going we're gonna to try it. And it actually looks pretty damn good, I'm not going to lie. This is the kimchi, the Taiwanese kimchi, and then the tofu has the sauce, and then on the side we have the, uh, the pepper. The last tofu that I had that was in City Night Market, What the hell is that? Look at it, it's congealed. It's like I'm eating donkey's cock. It looks like it's a dehydrated turn. Yeah, it's um... The tofu is insanely dry. It tastes kind of old. The soy sauce is really too salty. This is just disappointment. It's fucking dry. You gotta step up your game, see me night market. This shit's disgraceful. This hopefully is delicious. Thank God, this shit good. <laughs> it was very good. The tofu, super succulent, it's super savory. The sauce that they used is it's mixed with like soy and vinegar. They put a little sugar in there. You can taste the sugar. It's so good. It balances out so equally with the, the tartness of the kimchi. The tofu itself, it's not like there's no stink to it. It doesn't taste rotted. You know what I mean? Like that's the that's the number one complaint of all foreigners in Taiwan that I've ever talked to is the stink. Is they always complain about how much it tastes like garbage. Oh, wonderful. You know, I was just saying that, you know, tonight for dinner, I hope we have a plate full of hot garbage. But it tastes like a really, really nice cheese. The sauce is like, it just complements everything. It's very, very good. Looks like that. Add a little bit of kimchi to it. Kimchi goes on the back. Overall, two thumbs up. I don't really know why foreigners don't like this because it's actually delicious if you eat the right thing, but... If you eat the right thing? Yes, very good. The second type of food that we have is this. Oh, nice to meet you. Wanna be friends? This is called pig blood cake. Now, pig blood cake is, uh, well, it's blood. The reason why most foreigners don't like this is because I think the idea of blood is what freaks them out. Taste-wise, for me, it's actually really quite okay. As far as the texture goes, again, it's, it's totally okay with me. Let's take a closer look, shall we? So pig blood cake, it looks like this. It looks, it looks, I mean. That's a penis. It actually comes in two different types. This one's actually handmade. And you can tell it's handmade because the shape of it, it is kind of just like cut up in a YOLO style. Like there's no real symmetrical shape to it. The stuff that's machine made is cut into perfectly rectangle blocks. The reason why I like it is because number one, the texture of it, it's chewy, not hard, it's not soft. It's kind of a mixture of both. Flavor itself, it's very mild. There's not a strong irony taste to it. Okay, so the thing that makes this thing delicious is the sauce, the peanut powder, and the coriander. This one, they actually make their own sauce. It's called jiang yu gao. It's like a soy sauce paste, and they mix it with a type of vinegar and a couple of other spices. It's, a, it's like a homemade sauce. I don't know what they put in it, but it's really good. I like mine to have a little kick to it, so I ask for a little bit of hot jiao or hot sauce. They put that on one side. And then lastly, what they do is they put coriander, and then what they do is they roll it in peanut powder. Coriander are these like green leaves there. Uh, I guess we'll have a bite. And it's still good. Still an eight out of 10. I would say it's not a 10 out of 10 because I left it sit for 20, 30 minutes, but if you get it fresh. There it is. This is the third food. I was actually debating on what the third food should have been. In Taiwan, it's called da chang mian xian. It's, it's pretty much tripe soup. That's what it is. Some foreigners like it, some don't. I would say a majority don't just because of the tripe part. Like lots of foreigners don't like to eat guts. Okay, so I, I'm like mixed. I don't I don't know if I hate it. I don't know if I like it. It's, I, I don't know. I, it's weird for me, you know what I mean? It doesn't smell bad. It actually smells pretty good. It's not as bad as people make it out to be like me. Mian Shen is this noodle. It's it's okay. The issue is the texture of the soup. Okay. Again, we got coriander in here. They put some vinegar in here, some black vinegar, and actually it's okay. It's not that bad. It's, the soup is all goopy because what they do is like they add cornstarch into the soup. And what that does is it gives it this goopy texture. A lot of people don't actually like this. I'm not a great fan of it either. It's not bad, it doesn't bother me, but I'm not like, you know, when I see it, I'm I'm not like, whoa. Oh, I can't wait to eat that goop, you know? This is what we're talking about. This bad boy, get a little focus up in here. It's the large intestine. This stuff is the, the reason why people don't, don't like to eat this stuff. It's da tang, it's tripe soup. Let's give it a try, I guess. 
<laughs> Nothing like the taste of shit. This, it's actually not that bad. This one is pretty clean. Some some of the stuff that I've had here, like the first time that I ever ate this thing, I don't think the, uh, the intestine was very clean. The coriander gives it a nice flavor. It's got a little spice. I think we added some uh, la jiao. No, it's not bad. Yeah, what else to say about it? All right, guys, thank you for watching. Now, I know that I've been talking a lot of English. I don't know if I'm talking to my friends. But I started to talk to my friends. I wanted to give my other friends a chance. Until next time, guys, that was three foods in Taiwan that foreigners hate the most. Catch you later. Bye.